So we are going to do solve systems of equations and number of solutions. So remember when we were solving, if the variables cancel, it's either going to be no solution or it's infinite. And the way to know which one it is, is if it's no solution, whenever your variables cancel, you're left with something that's like 10 equals 12. And so since 10 does not equal 12, then there's no solution. When you're solving and your variables cancel and you get infinite solutions, it would be like 10 equals 10. So you know that, I'm going to turn the light on just so it's a little bit brighter. There you go. Um, so 10 equals 10, meaning that they are equal. So what you're left with is equal, so it's infinite solutions, and it's no solution if what you're left with does not equal. So we're going to do these two examples. So example one, um, 2x plus 14y equals 4, and x equals negative 7y plus 7. So when you look at this problem, you can see that they're not set up on top of each other. Well, yes, technically x is over x, y is over y, a number over number, but the equal sign are in different spots. So on this equation, we can notice that there's an x equals. So there's an x equals or a y equals, so you have to solve using substitution. So we're solving by substitution. So since it's x equals this information, I'm going to take out my x. So I cover up the x and cover up the x in the other one, and all of that information gets written in for that x. So the 2 stayed the same change the x to this, so put parentheses, negative 7y plus 7, close parentheses, plus 14y equals 4. Okay, so all I did was substitute or replace the variable. So now we are going to have to distribute, because again, we're trying to get the variables isolated or by themselves, so you have to distribute that 2 into both of those because we need to get rid of the parentheses. So then in your calculator, you're going to do 2 times negative 7. Remember when we multiply in our calculator, you ignore the variables and you're just multiplying the two numbers together. So 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. So it would be negative 14y. 2 times 7, so 2 times 7 is a positive 14, so you put plus 14. And then this doesn't change, so we just put plus 14y equals 4. Okay, circle your variables. That's what we're trying to get by themselves, so we're going to combine them. So if we notice, negative 14 plus 14, negative 14 plus 14, cancels and is 0, so those cancel out. So you could say 0y, but they're gone. Then bring down what you're left with. So we're left with 14 equals 4. Well, 14 does not equal 4, so then you would just say no solution. Okay, so again, when you're solving a system or when you're solving any time and your variables cancel, it's either no solution or infinite. And since the two things that we were left with were not equal, it's no solution. All right, now let's solve this one. Notice this one, it's x over x, y over y, equal over equal, number over number. So this one, you're going to do elimination or combination. So we're going to combine these two together. What is 3 minus 3? Three? 3 minus 3 is canceled out. 6 minus 6 is canceled out. And 22 minus 22 is 0. Cancels out as well. So let's do that in the calculator just to make sure. So 3 minus 3, canceled. 6 minus 6, canceled. 22 minus 22 is canceled. So you're left with nothing. So 0 equals 0. 
which that is true, so it would be infinite solutions. Okay, hopefully this feels pretty easy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and write this next problem. Actually, I'll just flip it over and we'll just do it right here. Okay, the last problem, that, or last example, example three. Okay, let's first figure out which way it's set up. It's x over x, y over y, equal over equal, number over number. So you're going to do elimination. Okay, so we're going to combine them together. What is 6x minus 6x? Put it in your calculator if you're unsure. That's 0. So it's canceled out. Now we have y minus 4y. How many y's do we have right there? That would be a 1y. So then 1 minus 4, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. I don't know if I picked that up too fast. So negative 3y. Bring down your equals. 1, oh, sorry. So it's a negative 1, so put negative 1. Then it's a positive 4, so put plus 4 is a positive 3. Okay, then you just solve like you've been solving. So it's negative 3 times y. The opposite of multiply is divide. So we divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3. That cancels. y equals 3 divided by negative 3 is negative 1. Okay, so this is going to be 1 solution because the variables didn't cancel and so we're going to actually find our solution remember you know the y now we need to find the x so let's do i'm going to use orange so now we know our y value so you're going to plug it into one of them again it doesn't matter which one i'm going to personally do the top because it's not negative negative and all of that so i'm going to plug it in to the top so y equals negative 1, so you're going to take out the y and put negative 1. So we're going to do 6x plus, so instead of y, write negative 1, equals negative 1. Okay, now we have 6x plus negative 1. Okay. Adding a negative, so if you think about this, if I'm adding a negative, it's the same thing as subtracting. So I'm going to rewrite that to 6x minus 1. Because again, if I think about, I just want to point out something. So 0 plus a negative 1 is negative 1. Adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting. Um, I think on the last quiz, that's where quite a few of you guys messed up. Um, or test, sorry. The um, so when you look at this problem, now you're going to circle your variable. What's the opposite of subtract one? You're going to add one. Add one. We're trying to get this by itself, so we had to get rid of the minus one, so we have to add one. So 6x equals what is negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Okay. A lot of you guys get confused when this canceled out as well. So that technically canceled out. So you're left with zero, but it's not the variable that canceled. The variable is still there. We just have a x value of zero. So then we have six times x. The opposite of multiply by six is divide and divide. So x equals zero divided by six is zero. Notice. If you type that in backwards, it will give you an error. You can't divide by zero. So just make sure that you keep in mind you have to do the top divided by the bottom. So then our x value is zero. So then it would be zero comma negative one. And that is our one solution. Okay, sorry, you hear everybody at lunch right now. But so that's how you do solving systems number of solutions.